Hi, it's Nick from Nail Couture Lincoln and I'm still here for another week. Now this week's challenge, sponsored by CND, was based on the phenomenal designer Holston who was in his heyday in the late 70s, early 80s. This guy was so cool. He managed to make ultra suede and tie-dye chic, but he was best known for his use of flowing fabrics that made women feel beautiful and elegant. His bezzy mate, Liza Minnelli, once said, his clothes danced with you. I want a frock that dances with me. Anyway, this is my video. I hope you enjoy it. Catch you later. Bye. Using CND forms and acrylic, I sculpted my nails out. It's really important to get that form nice and tight around the free edge and then you won't need to pinch. When filing acrylic, ensure you do this over an extraction fan, wear a mask and gloves. Using Blackpool, I started on my dress pattern. You may find it easier painting on a matte background. By mixing CND gel polish and CND Shellac Express 5 together, I was able to make these pattern pieces in a 3D format. As you can see, they're slightly translucent, which is what I wanted. I also used Express 5 to make my material. One coat down, then cure, and then put glitter or over the top effects or gel polish in between to sandwich it together. As you can see, it's very bendy, but it goes stiffer when the gel cools down. To make my pin, I used CND hard gel, then filed into shape. I then dipped the end of it to make a little round bit that's on a pin. As you can see, it was quite tough. Just weaving another sheet of fabric. Now on to make my cotton reel out of acrylic. For the thread, I'm going to use crafting wire. Now on to the iconic perfume bottle. I use C&D hard gel to make this. Alcohol inks are perfect if you want a translucent finish. After that had dried, I went over with top coat and flash cured my little top on. Using acrylic, I turned my nails into models. To make a surface smooth, you can rub over with neat acetone. I think I may have gone a little overboard with the acrylic. Whilst the gel was still warm, I was able to wrap this around my model and secure in place with top coat. Holston spent a lot of time at Studio 54 I would definitely pay a good 15 quid to get into here. Blue Tack is a nail artist's best friend. I use it all the time on a dotting tool or an old cuticle pusher when I'm working on really small pieces of nail art to stop it moving around. To make my glitter ball, I used acrylic and filed into shape. Into wet top coat, I then placed my hexagonal glitter pieces. Holston put his monogram on many things, including handbags, and I'm going to recreate that look here by painting in gel polish and then going over with clear acrylic and then curing. It gives a raised effect. He was also known for his oversized sunglasses, which I'm creating here using gel polish. After making a framework with Brissa gel, I then filled the inside with clear top coat and a little bit of CND Blackpool. This gave me a translucent effect when it was cured. I used Brissa gel again to make my scissors. It took a couple of coats to get them as sturdy as I needed them. After they had cured, I finished with Blackpool and silver gel polish. I then went over and did the shading in between the blades. 
A small diamond file is perfect for refining your shape on tiny artwork like this. To give a wooden floor effect, go over with a gel polish and then with a dry brush before it's cured, remove in streaks, then cure. Here I have all my little pieces of fabric off the cutting room floor. And of course, we can't forget the tape measure. These have got to be the tiniest numbers I've ever painted. To stop the tape moving around, I stuck it to the backing paper with a little bit of blue tack. I also did this while fixing my tape to the tip to ensure it was in the correct place before fitting. Just perfect for a night out at Studio 54.